Welcome to Module 10. We have volume and surface area of solids. We already talked about surface area in Part 1, so today is just about volume of solids. So here we have volume of any prism and cylinder. And those two shapes have two bases. So prisms and cylinders, they have two bases, so you have the volume formula of B times H. And B is the area of the base, and that's a big thing to remember, is it's not a number, it's going to be a formula. The height is the distance from base to base. So if I look at this one, it is a pentagonal prism. So I know that these, that this right here is going to be the area of my base, that's going to be my big B. And then the height is going to be the distance between those. So if I take a vertex of B and I find the same vertex on the other side, that's going to be my height. So here, rectangular prisms are a little different because you can kind of choose any rectangle and it would be right. The height is just the ones that... Um, you have to make sure that you get that right. So it's going to be if I choose the bottom, I choose the same vertex on top, and that's going to be my height. And this one's cylinders are a little easier because you know that it's going to be a circle. And then the distance is going to be just my height. Okay? So if I look here, and if you don't remember what is your base, and if they give you the name, I am given the title of your base. So the base is going to be a triangle. So I'm going to find the area of that triangle. So what I'm first going to do is volume equals base times height. I'm going to put B in a box. You have to put a formula in the box. You cannot put a number. So make sure 3 doesn't go in there or um, 2 or 1 or whatever. You need to make sure you put a formula in there. And the formula is going to be a triangle formula. So 1 half and my base is 3 and my height is going to be 1 because that's my triangle. And then the height is going to be the distance between those two bases. So it's going to be 2. So I can pudge all that in my calculator. Or you can do it in your head because it's not that difficult. Um, it's going to be 3 feet cubed is my total answer. So now if I see a right cylinder, so I know that this is my circle. Um, that is going to be my base, so volume equals base times height. Put B in a box, because then I know area of a circle is going to be pi r squared. And then my height is going to be 6. And I punch that into my calculator, pi times 5 squared times 6. And I get 471.239 meters and then cubed. Volume is cubed always. All right, see if you guys remember how to find the volume here. So see if you can set it up and then we'll talk through it. Okay, so if you see, I highlighted my base. That is a pentagon. So I need to put the area of a pentagon in my box. Well, if you remember, we normally cut this pentagon into five triangles. So that's why the five is there. So then it's going to be five, and then your area of your triangle is one-half base times height. Well, three is my height, and then I know my side length is five because of the five over on the other side. So I know that it is going to be 1 half 3 times 5. 
and then your height is going to be 7. So I punched all that in my calculator and I got 262.5 units cubed. So we did prisms in cylinders that have one, two bases. Now we're going to do one with one base. And that is going to be one-third b times h. So it's still going to be the area of your base times the height. And now this time we're filling up our shape. Remember our surface area, we were talking about the surface. Um, so I needed my slant height. Now it's going to be the middle of the figure. The vertex to the base is going to be perpendicular to the base. So I, if you are printing out these notes, um, the 3.464 was not there, but you can add it. Um, so I'm going to do volume equals one third base times your height. I'm still going to put a box around the B just like I did before. And this is actually a regular pentagon, a regular um, hexagon. So I'm going to do my those triangles again. So I know I have six triangles this time. So one half. My base over here is four. The height is 3.464. And I'm running out of room in my box. And then my height. And I actually am given my height because it's in the middle. It goes from the center perpendicular to my base, so it's going to be 10. Now, the glorious thing is you can just punch all of that in your calculator. Remember, if you're going to do one-third and one-half, um, there's an ABC button on your calculator, or you can just put 1 divided by 3 in the, in the parentheses. Not all calculators have the ABC button, and that is just fine. So I get 138.56 inches cubed. All right, I want you to find the volume of the cone. You have see if you have all the information you need and then plug it into the formula. So I got one third base times height is my formula. The base is going to be a circle, so it's pi r squared. I already have my r. And if you look at my figure, I already know my height. My height is 16.8. Um, sometimes you might have to do Pythagorean theorem if you are given the slant height. But in this case, we do not have to. And then I'm going to punch all of that in my calculator. And I get 1587. 0.761 millimeters cubed. All right, so we have almost all the shapes done. We have one to go, and this one is going to be a sphere, and it is a different formula. It's similar to 4 pi r squared, but now it's going to be 4 thirds pi r cubed. So just think it's kind of like um, the surface area formula, but now you are multiplying it by one-third. So this is the volume equals four-thirds times pi, and I'm given my radius, three cubed. And so the trickier part probably in this one is just putting it in the calculator correctly. So make sure that you're doing this with me so you get the same answer as I do. Otherwise, you don't know if maybe it's just a calculator error or maybe you're doing the formula wrong. 0 0.097 millimeters cubed. So I do 4 divided by 3 and I put that in parentheses and then you just do 3 to the power of 3. So see if you can do this one, punch it in, see what you get. All right, and this is your final answer, 57.906. 2.4 is the radius, so I plug that in. 4 thirds times pi times 2.4 to the power of 3. And I plug it in, and I get 57.906 centimeters cubed. 
All right, there's going to be some practice problems and a quiz on Schoology. Good luck.